Hey guys, Hunter Hayes here, Pond Harper Outdoors. Today we're doing a little bit of a kayak review slash montage of what I actually did to it, to my own mods to it. I guess. So, uh, there it is. Just a real quick view of it before I go through. Um, right now, I just got it. Uh, I'm getting a duck blind built for it. I'm building it myself. I'll do a video on that soon. So stay tuned for that. Oh. First off. So first off what we have here is this little internal, not internal, but storage part part right here. I don't really use that for anything yet. I may use it for like a soft plastic box or anything like that. Uh, right here you have a little gear track mount for electronics and then up here you got one for a transducer mount hangs over the side uh, that's coming soon um, also you have like a little two little uh, what do you call these like little holes I guess that you put your hooks it's like when you're done with the lures throw it in there you don't have to waste time retying or putting it in your tackle box you have uh, Anyway, you got a dry hatch right here. It's not very big. I just have my pliers, pliers, scale, and you can pull this little pouch out, and it actually goes down into the hole of the boat down in there. So, uh, throw that in there. It keeps all your stuff from going down in the hole of the boat. So, like I said, that's where my phone goes. My pliers, my scale, everything I want to keep dry. My wallet, uh, batteries, accessories. Um, coming back, I have this awesome seat. I mean, awesome. I could sit in this thing all day if I wanted to. But underneath it, I have this net tucked away. Where it is not, where it's in, in between the bottom length of it right here. The top slips out of there. It's not in the way. So I have leg room, things to put, put place to put my cup right here. That's not interfering with that net. You have two little handles right here. Perfect for moving it around whenever you're loading it in and out of the car. Um got this paddle it's the ascend I think it's actually built for this specific kayak same color same everything it's got that little fish hook on it or whatever you call it it grabs your line when you're snagged in a tree it's got the water stoppers ruler right here for quick measurements and tournaments um, speaking of tournaments I got a ruler right here that is held by, oh, let me turn my light on. This little strap right here with a little pull noodle right here. I'm gonna get a thicker pull noodle because it's not thick enough. But what you do is slide it in. That pull noodle kind of separates it from the milk crate. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But anyway, you get the point. Um, in between the seat and my crate. I have a stringer, my soft plastic bag, and I may keep like a lunch box or something like that in there. Uh, I got two built-in rod holders. It's got, and then right here I have just a about a foot section of paracord. I just strapped on. Just clip it on your rod anywhere. Just clip it on your rod. You're good to go. Um, got my crate. I actually made a video on this, uh, and before it's called, I think it's titled the. Ep I made the epic milk milk crate. Uh, inside, I have. Uh, I can fit six tackle boxes. I got this little pouch right here that holds my buff, my mosquito spray, headlamp, uh, first aid kit, things like that. Uh, I put this three rod holder that just zip ties to the back of it. I can hold three rods. I just zip tied this to it, and do zip tie the bag to it, 
hinges, everything is zip tied. I can hold a total of five rods, three right there, one right there, and one right here, and two in the flush rod holders. So uh, this is a quick overview of the kayak. And then, oh, I almost forgot. I got this Ascend, uh, I think you call it a kayak trailer, I don't know. But anyway, it goes up in the scupper holes. You can see right there, these little things. It goes up through the scupper holes. You can move it around, pick it up, move it around. Super easy uh, when you're by yourself doing tournaments. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all. That's really all. Um, uh, let's see. So, uh, alright, so that is all for today. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little quick tip and just some review on this kayak. It, I would give it a five star. It is a whole lot better than that Sun Dolphin. Um, I can stand up in it. I can fish in it. Uh, cast. I can walk up to the front deck. That little front hole right there. Um, and cast. I don't really, it's a little wobbly, but I wouldn't do it every day. But um, that's how stable it is for me. Of course, I'm pretty little. Um, it's really stable. I mean, it's just overall an awesome kayak. I would totally recommend it to any of y'all. So uh, if you have, just you're willing to get out on the lake, a pond, anything, because this will go in huge lakes you can get into spots that a bass boat would never dream to get into uh you can duck hunt out of it and get stealthy back up in the uh tree line or anything like that you can even stalk on them just paddle right up to them and shoot them um like i said this duck blind i'm fixing to do or i've already done i'm just going to do a setup and how i did it so uh stay tuned for that like i said at the beginning of that like yo um yeah, I mean, this is an awesome overall kayak. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. It's awesome kayak. I re recommend it to anybody. So, uh, yep, guess we ended on a good note. Uh, so, I will see you in the next video.